Hello there, I'm Material Greta and I'm going to mess around with the Boss PS6 Harmonies. This is a really cool pedal that I actually desired for a long time. And, uh, and I hooked this to this Casio 46 keyboard and I'm going to mess around a little. So this is a pedal that has five modes. He has measure scale, minor scale, Pitch shifter, detuner, and S super band. This mixes the dry and wet signal, this regulates the harmonies, and this changes the key. Wait a minute. So, first, we check out the major and minor scales. Let's blend in the wet mix. Right now we have the first free voice harmony mode and we are now in uh, C major. Now this is the dry signal with a C. As you hear it's a normal plain C. If we turn on the harmonies, we get a... So there are many modes, many of which bring the octave up or down or sometimes do two octaves, one up and one down at the, st at the same time. Let's try this. Ooh, it's a really beautiful major chord. And you can do arpeggio with chords, for, for example. Let's try another instrument like a xylophone. Whew, that sounds nice. Now let's try a C minor scale. Let's try another instrument like strings. the dry signal I use. <laughs> now let's try this mode. This is uh, just an octave down. By regulating this note it does major third, minor third, fifth, sixth, 7th, let's try another free voice harmony. How about a square wave? Sounds like an old Nintendo game. Let's let's turn to the piano again. Now, if we want to play in uh, E flat, for example, we can. Now we we set it to pitch shifter and it it only moves it only, it only moves the root up an interval for example we have the dry signal and now we have we have a minor third this is our fourth fifth octave up two octaves up And this is both the upper and lower octave, this ten. Let's 
try something with the orchestra. It sounds really full. If we turn the wet signal all the way up, it turns into a bass instrument. If we put the square wave again, this is the, the dry signal and this is the wet. It, it can really extend the range of an instrument at the touch of a pedal. Sounds really cool, doesn't it? Now, let's try the detuner, which adds a little another note, which is a few cents high or low, making it a, a makeshift chorus. So it sounds like a like a chorus, I say. Now, this is without the harmonies, and this is now. Let's put the piano again. It sounds coarsey like a little reverb, you know? Hmm, sounds good. It makes chords even more fuller. Let's try a more open chord. If we turn it all the way up, this one, this knob doesn't do much. It sounds like a honky tonk. Honky tonk. And if we put a xylophone, it has more spring to it. And now let's try the mod that that makes the, this pe pedal unique. Let's regulate the rise time and fall time. And the S band can be, bring a single note to a fifth, to a shallow. No. So I'll I'll just showcase it. So we have the root note. This doesn't work. Maybe this? Yeah, that's better. This is a shallow change. And now that's a distorted vibrato. This is octave down vibrato. And this is octave high vibrato. And this brings both an octave up and an octave down. We can go to the stars. Or down in the bowels of hell. We can make it more shallow or slower or faster by regulating the rise time and the fall time. By put, putting it to the max we have this, this effect. Very trippy, isn't it? And now we can do the tamborello thing. Not this well, very trippy, isn't it? Now. We can 
do this with the drums too. So this is a good pedal to go crazy with, it isn't very expensive, just 100 euros or so, 150 that range, it's medium low range, it's by Boss, which is a good company that makes good pedals, I mostly use Behringer's and and I think to, I plan to buy more pedals in the future. This is what I had to say, material grades are sending out.